Optics OSN 9800 provides ultra large capacity, supporting massive grooming services. It offers congestion-free 25.6 terabit per second cross connections, which will be scalable to 100 terabit per second or higher in the future. With such a large cross connected capacity, the Optics OSN 9800 freely grooms massive services. The Optics OSN 9800. Also supports hybrid transmission of OTN, SDH, and packet services. Each service slot has 400G capacity, and each subrack supports 256 channels of 100G OTN services. Highly integrated 100G, 40G, 10G, and any rate service boards are perfectly suited for different cross-connect capacities. These boards help avoid stacking many subracks at a node. To provide large capacities, these boards simplify service planning and adjustment, and network expansion and maintenance. You can click the desire button on the left to view specific information. The Optics OSN 9800 U64 subrack is integrated in the cabinet, which has the same dimensions as an N66B cabinet. The Optics OSN 9800 U32 is an independent subrack, which can be installed in N63B or N66B cabinet. Optics OSN 9800 boards. Mainly include PIU, EFI, CTU, XCS, FAN, and service boards. The service boards are further classified as packet service boards, universal line boards, OTN tributary boards, OTN line boards, general service processing boards, turbo WDM boards, TDM boards, and submarine boards. You can move your pointer onto a slot area to check the supported board type. The PIU board accepts power from a power distribution frame and provides overcurrent protection using magnetic circuit breakers. The EFI board provides various external ports, including housekeeping alarm input and output ports and subrack alarm output ports. Two fan tray assemblies are installed in the upper part of the subrack, and the other two in the lower part of the subrack. Each fan tray assembly contains three fans. The SDH lower order cross connector board provides a total capacity of AG VC3 VC12 lower order cross connections for TDM Turbo WDM. And universal line boards in a subrack. The CTU board is a system control and communication board. It works with a network management system to manage boards and ensure that end needs can communicate with each other. The XCS board provides physical channels for electrical ODUK VC. And packet signals between service boards inside the subrack and grooms the electrical signals. The Optics OSN 9800 U16 is an independent subrack, which can be installed in an N63B or N66B cabinet. Optics OSN 9800 boards 
mainly include PIU, EFI, CTU, XES, FAN, and service boards. The service boards are further classified as packet service boards, universal line boards, OTN tributary boards, OTN line boards, general service processing boards, turbo WDM boards, TDM boards, and submarine boards. You can move your pointer onto a slot area to check the supported board type. Two fan tray assemblies are installed in the upper part of the sub rack. Each fan tray assembly contains eight fans. The SDH lower order cross connector board provides a total capacity of AG VC3 VC12 lower order cross connections for TDM, Turbo WDM, and universal line boards in a sub rack. The CTU board is a system control and communication board. It works with a network management system to manage boards and ensure that end needs can communicate with each other. The EFI board provides various external ports, including housekeeping alarm input and output ports and subrack alarm output ports. The PIU board accepts power feed from the PDU inside the cabinet and supplies power for the sub rack. The XES board provides physical channels for electrical ODUK, VC, and packet signals between service boards inside the sub rack and grooms the electrical signals. The packet service boards receives and transmits packet services and provides layer 2 service switching. The universal line board supports OTN, SDH and packet services and implements layer 2 service switching. It also supports a full range of ODUK signals and implements hybrid transmission of various services. The OTN tributary board receives and transmits various client services and converts them into ODUK signals. The OTN line board receives and transmits a full range of ODUK signals and supports hybrid transmission of various ODUK signals. The Universal Service Processing Board provides the functions of both OTN tributary and line boards. Each port on the board can be set to the tributary board or line port mode. The Turbo WDM board supports cross-connection and grooming of ODUK services. This helps achieve transmission of up to 400G services. The TDM board receives and transmits STMN optical signals and performs the conversion between optical signals and electrical signals. The submarine board mainly applies to submarine cable scenarios and supports the line mode and relay mode for the hybrid transmission of various services.
The package service boards receives and transmits package services and provides layer two service switching. The Universal Line Board supports OTN, SDH, and packet services and implements Layer 2 service switching. It also supports a full range of ODUK signals and implements hybrid transmission of various services. The OTN tributary board receives and transmits various client services and converts them into ODUK signals. The OTN line board receives and transmits a full range of ODUK signals and supports hybrid transmission of various ODUK signals. The Universal Service Processing Board provides the functions of both OTN tributary and line boards. Each port on the board can be set to the tributary board or line port mode. The Turbo WDM board supports cross-connection and grooming of ODUK services. This helps achieve transmission of up to 400G services. The TDM board receives and transmits STMN optical signals and performs the conversion between optical signals and electrical signals. The submarine board mainly applies to submarine cable scenarios and supports the line mode in relay mode for the hybrid transmission of various services.